Hello everyone, it's Halloween Heartthrob and I am back with another haul video. For those of you who didn't know or seen any of my other video, well not any of my other videos, just a few videos that I had mentioned, my birthday was April 7th and I'm not saying that to be like, oh wish me this and that and blah blah blah, I'm just letting you know so when I say I have a birthday haul you're not like, when's your birthday or you don't have a birthday or you were never born i don't i don't know I, just, I get really weird questions and i don't know why people say stuff sometimes anyways moving right along um i got uh a few things for my birthday um two things i didn't buy and i got some birthday money um and I got stuff and I wanted to show you. If you don't like hauls, this video isn't for you. That should be obvious. I don't know why you clicked on this video since haul should be in the title of the video. Moving on. Um, my parents uh, watch my videos, or at least my dad does. Hi, Dad. Uh, and he noticed that I started painting again. And I don't have a lot of... One, I don't have a lot of good brushes, and two... I don't have a lot of small detail brushes and for this painting that's what I'm going to need. So he got me a tiny brush set <laughs> filled with tiny brushes, so a whole bunch of detail brushes and I'm excited to use them and they come in a fancy case. And he also got me um, some brush cleaner. This was the first thing that I saw when I got the box um, because he mailed it just like through Amazon. Um, and I just saw this and I'm like, for some reason I was thinking of like Lush or like some like lotion or like really big chapstick. And I'm like, why did he buy me chapstick? Like, are my lips that weird? And then I actually read it and I was like, oh, brush cleaner, cool, because I don't have any anymore. Um, and this stuff smells so good. It smells so clean and it smells like clean lemon pie. So the, on um, April the 8th, which is technically today, but I don't know when I'll post this, um, the goat, uh, took me out, uh, to go to some thrift stores and some regular stores, and I got quite a bit of things at the regular stores. So one of the stores he took me to was Toys R Us. And whenever I go to a toy store or a store that has toys, I always hope and dream and wish that I find older Monster High dolls. I've said before I'm not a huge fan of the reboot Monster High, so I keep my heart open for older Monster High dolls. But I got a Made to Move Barbie. It is the red-headed one, and finding Made to Move Barbies is sometimes really ridiculous because I can almost never find them around me. And I know I already have a redhead version, um, but she quickly became one of my favorite made to move Barbies and I had to get another one so I can customize her a little more. And then they can be twins. The other store I went to is Hobby Lobby. I didn't get too many amazing things, but whenever they have jewelry stuff on sale, I always love to go over there and get some beads. Um, so I got these beads. It's like purpley blue and gold. Um, but I like to get beads to get ready to make headdresses and these things are there's a whole bunch of them And they're normally four dollars, but I like to get them when they're 50% off um, And then I also got these these are really really pretty. I thought these would make really good like dangly pieces <laughs> um, I wish you could see like just how sparkly. Oh, there we go Sparkly um, these were also half off and then I got a kneaded eraser. I had one before, um, and then my cat stole it, bit into it, and there was cat hair all over it, and then it fell on the carpet, so there was carpet fibers, and there was nothing I could do. Once your kneaded eraser gets that horrible, it's just done. So I had to buy another one, and I just bought that one. I have been wanting to get this color of clay forever, and you, I can't find it in the a bigger like block version of which I would much rather have bought but I bought the Primo uh, Sculpey accents yeah um, but it's it's just um, better Sculpey 
uh, which is like the shiny, there we go. It's really, really pretty, and I really, really love this, and they only had one, so this is all that was there, and I'm, it, it's always gone. The second to last thing was I got a yard of fleece. Uh, I want to make plushies out of this, like I said in another video, um, so it's just like plain skin tone. This is the only skin tone they had. It was either this or white. <laughs> and speaking of white, I'm going to keep this in the bag because um, nobody ever seems to know how to cut faux fur properly, uh, so it always ends up shedding everywhere, which is understandable. You know, again, they're not a fabric store, they're a craft store. But I finally found white fur. Really soft, decent looking. Obviously it's faux fur. None of this is real. I would, first off, that would be way too expensive, and second off, I just, I don't. The only time I'll buy fur if it's if it's the secondhand market, which the money doesn't go to the company, the money would go to a charity, so that's the only way. Um, but it's really, really, really soft, and it's white. It's not a cream, it's not an off-white, it's white, and I've been wanting white fur specifically for a project forever, and it was a decent price. Um, most of the time I find white faux fur for like $20 a yard. This one was... Sixteen ninety nine a yard, I believe, and the cheapest faux fur that I've ever seen was at Walmart, and they only have one color, at least in store, and that's the uh, mixed brown, um, which was like thirteen ninety nine or something, and that's just, it sounds, it is a lot, but most, you have to keep in mind that that's pretty cheap for faux fabric since it, you could run to, you know, 20 to 60 dollars for one yard. So. And the last place I went by myself, um, I went to Walmart and I got a couple of things. I got some uh, tinies, superhero tinies or something like that, but they're blind bags and I'll put a little clip in for you right now of the ones that I got. <laughs> yeah, of course, they're Steven Universe. I love Steven Universe a lot. <laughs> um, I got a couple, like, two kind of boring things. Uh, I got a twin marking pen. I've been wanting to get this. It's for um, sewing to mark your fabric, uh, and it's disappearing ink. I believe it's washable. Yeah, for washable fabrics. It's just to help me because I always use an actual ballpoint pen or a sharpie which is not good. And I have chalk but it is the worst thing in the world so I don't use it. Um, I bought these like, I don't know if you'd call them holographic because they're not super rainbowy. They're like more pink and green than rainbow. Um, but I bought these for headdresses as well and customizing. The very last thing which I wore today, and I love them because I think they're awesome, I found them by accident. These. These are amazing. I am a huge fan of Batman and Batman related stuff. Um, definitely a DC fan. Of I love both, you know, so I'm not like... Oh, DC's only, you know, it can't be Marvel. I, I like both, you know. But I grew up on my on Batman, thanks to my dad. And I'm sure my dad will probably like these too. These are men's shoes, so... And they're at Walmart, and they're on sale. They said they were $12, but they were really only, like, $8.99 or $9.99. So, Dad, if you want to be twinsies... He probably won't now that I said that, but, yeah. 
And I think that's all I got. Um, I'll probably do another thrift haul uh, later on if I find anything. But yeah, that's, that's all I got. Well, not all I got. That was actually a lot of stuff. So thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to see more haul videos, put it down in the comment section below in the link. But follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, which will be in the description box. And I'll see you in another video. Bye!